Hello everybody. Thank you for joining me today. I am going to be putting together another quick recipe. It is a kale and cucumber salad recipe. So first I'll just Assemble the salad and then we can look at how the dress the dressing is made. It's a really good, delicious recipe. And the details are down below of um, all the ingredients and how much you actually need because I never quite pay attention to that. <laughs> so I'm not a chef, I'm a health coach. It's very different. Um, and if you're cringing at the idea of kale, which I'm going to grab over here, I've already got um, some pre-washed kale that I did before the video. If you're cringing at the idea of kale, like kale was such a fad that I feel like so many people have like either have tried it and so now they know if they're like team kale or not. If you're not a kale fan, that's fine. Just pick any other kind of leafy green. You can have spinach or lettuce or whatever you tend to divert to when you're having your salads. The important thing is you're getting your veggies in and your greens. So that is really good. So I have a plate here that I'm just going to dump some of this kale onto. And then I also have a Tupperware out. Um, I'm prepping a salad for tomorrow, so I'm going to throw some of that and divide it. This makes two servings. I believe it's two servings. Um, and the other thing that I thought was cool was recently I tried collard greens, like really big, leafy, thick green leaves. And I don't know if you've ever tried them, but it has like completely turned my world upside down. So I used it, I was doing um, a fixate recipe from Beachbody, and if you haven't tried them, they've got some really great recipes. I'm not a Beachbody coach or anything, but they do have some good recipes on there. And one was for a wrap where you used, instead of, um, you know, like a tortilla or any kind of grainy wrap, you were using collard greens, and what was cool is the leaves are super waterproof, so they don't get all kind of soppy and wet. Um, and so that's really good for food prep to like have a couple of wraps in a collard green and then they hold up really well because they're really stiff. Um, so being able to do that and then wrapping them up in plastic wrap and storing it, they held up really, really well, which was super cool. And I'm seeing a comment. Hello. Um, so, okay, so I got the kale set out and then I've already recently um, cooked some quinoa. And so you're going to want to just distribute some of the quinoa on both of the salads. And then what I also have is some pre-cooked beans. Now you can use like any beans that you want, white beans or kidney beans. I have here garbanzo beans. Um, so we've got the kale, the quinoa, and the garbanzo beans. And I just heated these up. I don't know, I just feel like it tastes better. And I always seem to have garbanzo beans or chickpeas like available. But... Um, I guess I just keep it on stock in case like I feel inspired to like make my own hummus or falafel, but that has not happened yet. <laughs> I just don't got time for that. But here's some cooked beans as well. So I'm gonna throw those on top and I'll show you what this looks like in just a second. And then we can go into how to make this yummy dressing. So did everyone have a good Halloween? Like what did you do for Halloween? Because for me, I went with my fiancé and my soon-to-be stepson, and he was dressed up as Spongebob, which was adorbs, and I did like some kind of reused, um, like a reused witch's costume, and so my creativity levels were like less than good. They weren't that great. But where I did step it up is actually in my nails, so you have to check these out. I've got these awesome... Halloween nails! So we're just diverting for like two seconds to look at Halloween nails. But otherwise the costume was pretty lame, but the weather was perfect. So let me flip the camera here and show you what the salad is looking like. So this is what we got. We've got our kale, our quinoa, and our garbanzo beans, and then this is my prepped salad for tomorrow. And then for the dressing, what we have is... And I'm going to just add this all to a blender. So I have half a cup of tahini. And I don't know if you've ever used this before. It's like pure ground sesame seed. Really delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and add that here to the blender. Perfecto mundo. Okay. So this is our tahini. And then I also have... Come on now. 
Throw that over there. I've also got some chopped garlic, so we're just gonna dump that in. And I've got some pure maple syrup, the good quality stuff, just for a little bit of sweetness. I'm totally going to be blasting you away, by the way, when I start this blender. So if your sound's on, <laughs> you can mute that. Um, I've got some chopped up cucumber. And these slices, totally forgot, these are going on the salads. So I'm just going to start distributing that because I had them here and I forgot them here. So we're going to do that really quick. So we've got the chopped cucumber and then we also have some freshly chopped dill as well. And then we're going to do a little bit of salt and pepper and some lemon juice squeezed into the dressing as well. And if you have any extra dressing, this stores really well to use for other recipes. My God, this was like so many cucumbers. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Can you guys believe it's already November? Because for me, I'm like freaking out about it. Because with all my wedding planning, it's like, holy cow. So this cucumber is just going. My hands are clean, I totally promise. Okay, so we got that going for us. Is anybody going to actually try this recipe? If you are, like, let me know if it looks good. Is it up your alley? <laughs> so we've got our dill as well. So I'm just going to scoop some of that up. Careful with dill if you haven't used it, especially fresh dill. Fresh dill. It gets, like, super, super, like, spicy. Okay, I'm just doing a quick rinse. We've got lemon juice. Squeezing half of a lemon adding some of that delicious zestiness. I don't know about you, but for me, it's like super weird to have a candle lit in the kitchen. I never do that, <laughs> but I had a serious stinky garbage problem. Hashtag stinky garbage problem. So I've got a little bit of salt and pepper. Um, and so the candle had to come on. I don't know why I'm saying come on like it's being turned on okay so I also have a cup of water here in case this just isn't blending up well um so we will see how this goes so go ahead and like give yourself a mute because this is going to be loud cover those ears this blender terrifies me <laughs> I usually leave the room while it's blending so <laughs> let's go ahead and do some chopping This is a perfect example. Um, it's getting like really chunky and thick. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of this water to kind of loosen up the consistency. And you only wanna be adding it a little bit at a time because then otherwise you're gonna be like having a seriously runny mess. So we're gonna do that again. Cover your ears. Awesome. So here's the dressing. It's like this really good creamy, can you see that? Like creamy dressing. I might chop it up just a little bit more for the cucumbers and then I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my yummy salad. Give it a like if you like salad and you think you're going to try this recipe out. Let me flip flop here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, tell me what other recipes do you want to see or that you would be interested in trying. And the dressing, like I said, is good for so many different things. So thanks for tuning in and I will see you guys later. Bye!